I've got your uh, urogynecology questionnaire and your bladder diary that you brought with you today. Uh, they've been very helpful to me. Uh, I noticed on the questionnaire that uh, most of your leaking happens with like coughing, sneezing, laughing, that sort of thing. And that um, not really a lot of that gotta go, gotta go, uh, like you see on the commercial sort of thing. Uh, also on your bladder diary, I noticed uh, that you're having a, a, a fair amount of leaking each day um, with walking or coughing sort of thing, and um, as well as the amount of fluid that you're drinking and the time of day that you're drinking has been very helpful um, on uh, how we can help you out. So when you look at this information, how will you use that along with the, the tests that we're gonna do to be able to help me get better? Mm -hmm. I guess I, I don't wanna keep going through my life having to worry about leaking every time I move. Right. right. Um, par the parts of the bladder diary that really help are first of all, what fluids you're drinking and when you're drinking them. Um, bladder irritants especially, like coffee, citric juices, alcohol, NutraSweet, all those things um, can tell us if uh, perhaps the leaking's going on shortly after you've been consuming those. Also, sometimes we'll see that people are uh, drinking an exorbitantly amount of fluids and what goes in must come out. So uh, sometimes if pe people are drinking 140 ounces of fluid in a day, they're much more likely to have issues with leaking because they're just over distending the bladder. Um, also, um, I can see the amount of leaking um, or if you're having to get up a lot at night, what were you drinking you know, shortly before bedtime? And sometimes we can help you out just with fluid management and, and maybe we'll help you keep from leaking just from that. Um, with the questionnaire also tells me kind of what's, what are those main issues with your leaking? Is it more that urge sort of thing or is it those stress issues? And sometimes that can help uh, direct me when I'm doing the urodynamics testing to focus in on, on those areas to really highlight it to make sure that if you say that you're doing a lot of the, those urgency sort of things, I can actually try and elicit some of that by turning on the water on the sink or something like that to make sure that we really cover that and see if we can find that during the testing. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. We'll go in the other room and do the procedure then. Mm -hmm. All right. We're doing your urodynamic uh, test today to help us figure out how to help you the best. There are more than one type of urinary incontinence and depending on what type you have is how we need to treat you and there are many ways of treating each kind and sometimes people have more than one kind of incontinence at the same time. Um, I didn't know that there were more than a couple. I thought there's either stress or something that my doctor said was urge incontinence. So mm -hmm. it's interesting that there's more than just one or two types of incontinence. Well, there's uh, the main three are stress incontinence, that laughing, sneezing, coughing kind of leaking, the urge incontinence, that overactive bladder gotta go, gotta go. Sometimes people have what we call mixed incontinence, where it's more than one thing going on at a time. They can have both. And so this test um, somehow tells you the type of incontinence that I might have, mm -hmm. why I'm leaking? Yep. Some people um, leak that urge incontinence, for an example. They're leaking because their bladder muscle is contracting when they don't want it to. It's like potty training backwards. Stress incontinence is where there's a pressure difference, where um, with increased pressure in your abdomen, the muscles there can't hold it, and so then you're leaking that way. And so consequently, depending on what's going on, is how we need to treat you. 
Um, sometimes just from the physical examination or your history, it can be hard to tell what's going on. And that's why we do urodynamics so that we can see exactly what's going on. How many uh, different types of tests do you perform or will I, can, will I experience? Well, it kind of depends on what we find along the way. The first thing we'll be, uh, we do is that Euroflow, uh, which you did initially. This part here is called a systometrogram. And that's generally those two for sure. If we find that you leak at a low pressure, um, we need to do an initial testing of the pressure inside the urethra. Um, because if you have uh, leaking at low pressure, um, if that pressure isn't good enough along there, depends on what kind of procedures we can do to help you the best with that. When, um, when do I talk to my doctor about the results? As soon as we're done with the testing. I'll take you back into the room and let you get dressed and then you'll be meeting with the doctor and coming up with the best plan for you. All right, well thank you. You're very welcome. I'm ready. All right. So the next part of the procedure, um, we're gonna be moving over to this other chair. So what I'm gonna have you do is sit on there and have your calves up in these stirrups. So you might wanna keep that nice and loose. Good. All right. So the very next thing I'm going to be doing is inserting a catheter into your bladder to see how well you emptied when you were over there. Is to it gonna hurt? It's gonna feel strange, but it shouldn't really hurt. Can you show me what the catheters look like? I'd be happy to. It's this flexible catheter. You can see it's nice and movable. And I'll be putting a lubricant on the tip so it won't be dry. That's pretty tiny too. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to be bringing the table up. Now that the catheter is in, I'm going to be inserting my finger into your vagina just to make sure that your bladder's truly empty. How far do you have to go in with your finger? Um, most of the way. All right. Because I need to be able to get all the way in so that I can be pressing on the bladder all right. from the inside. All right, now I'm going to be removing this catheter and replacing it with our catheters over here. The ones over here have microchips in them, so once they're inside, one's going to go back into the bladder and we'll be using that catheter to backfill. Um, the other catheter is going to go in your vagina, so I can measure your abdominal pressures the best way we can, and that's through your vagina. Um, with the backfilling, what, do you, what does that mean, backfilling? I have some sterile saline here, like sterile water, that I've warmed to body temperature so it's not cold. And then through the tubing, I can put fluid back into your bladder to replicate the way your bladder fills from your kidneys. And what does that tell you? Am I, uh, what, will I, what happens with that water once it's inside me? Well, you're gonna notice different sensations just like your bladder would fill normally. And so I'm gonna be asking you about those along the way. Um, I'm also going to have you doing some coughing and bearing down so that once we've started with an empty bladder, I can tell how much fluid is in there and at what pressure it takes you to leak. And the, um, I'm not really sure what you mean by bearing down. That'd be like the bearing down you would do like you're having a bowel movement. That pressing down, trying to push the catheters out is what it's going to feel like. Um, and how big are these catheters? And is it going to hurt? Um, it's going to feel kind of strange. The area on the catheters that have a microchip are a little stiff, so it will feel very weird as they're going in. It shouldn't really hurt. Um, they are half the size of that catheter I just used, so they're very tiny. I'm going to first put a strap on your leg just to hold some catheters first. I'm going to zero their pressures, 
This is the bladder catheter. There's a microchip, a tiny one right here, that we can measure the pressure in the urethra as the same time as the little sensor down here that will measure the bladder pressure. There's one on the tip of this one that goes into the vagina. Where those are on the catheter, they're a little stiffer, so um, you may notice um, kind of a different feeling as those are passing through. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be inserting now. The next step is, now I'm gonna put these little sticky pads down on your bottom to see if you squeeze your butt muscles to hold in urine. And why is that important information? Well, if you're doing that, um, we can see it on the monitor and we know if you're able to hold it or not when you're squeezing. Is it, is it, um, does my butt need to be working in order for me to be able to be effectively controlling my, my leaking? Right, well, some people can do that and some people can't. All right. And so if you do leak and you're trying to hold it, we can see if you're actively using those muscles. Mm -hmm. Some people's muscles don't work very well. Right. Are those electrodes or are they just sensor pads? They're just sticky pads. Uh, in fact, these are actually pediatric EKG pads. Because you can see there's a duck, an elephant, and a frog on them. So this is what they use for kids when they're doing EKGs. But they're just very sticky. And so they don't hurt? They don't hurt. The only part that might be uncomfortable is if you have a lot of hair down here, and when I'm taking them off, that may pull. Okay. All but right. it won't hurt. All right. All right, here it goes. There's a lot of wires here. Mm-hmm. All necessary, however. Good. We're ready to go. So now I'm going to start backfilling the bladder. So it's just going to feel like you're putting water back inside me? Yes. Okay. But I did warm it up to body temperature so it's not going to be icy cold. No. How much water do, are you going to put that whole bag back inside me? No. That's going to kind of depend on you. Um, when you feel like you are full, we're going to stop the flow. I'm going to try and get you up to about 400 cc's um, just to prove that you have an adequate bladder capacity. Um, but it will kind of depend on, um, on you. The 400 cc's, is that half the bag? A Not quite, the bag? just under half, just under half. I have actually emptied this bag on people and they never felt that they were full, which is a whole nother issue. But um, generally, no, Le generally less than half the bag. Now we put some fluid in and I'm going to have you take a deep breath and hold it like you're going underwater, like this. <gasps> good, okay, you're good, good practice. Okay. okay, you can catch your breath now. Um, and as soon as I'm positioned where I can watch, um, what, while you're holding that air in, I want you to start bearing down. I want you to start slowly and go harder and harder and harder until I tell you to stop. And that's pretending like I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. too. I don't want you to try and make yourself leak, but if you do leak, I'll be able to see it. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Take that breath and start pushing. Push, push, push harder, 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 harder. Okay, good. You can relax, catch your breath. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and I want you to do that again. And push, 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 push. Good. All right. Next thing I'm gonna have you do is cough. Big coughs. <coughs> Bigger cough. <coughs> And again. <laughs> Good. All right. You're still dry. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to be filling you some more.
All right. Good. So we've put some more fluid in, and I'm going to have you do that bearing down again. And push, 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 push. Good. And I got that leak. Excellent. All right. Now I'm going to start filling you again until you feel like you're full. Your bladder's full now, and now I'm going to let you empty your bladder again. So I'm going to bring you down, and I'm going to have you empty like you did over on the commode. I want you to empty like you normally do, but when you're done, push a little more to make sure you're as empty as you can be. Then do I need to keep all these cords on Yep, me? we're going to leave the catheters in. That way I get pressure readings from the inside when you're going, which I wasn't able to do over there. And then you'll be done. I'm going to have you put your feet on these foot things. And are you comfortable? Yes. All right. You're done? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this looks normal. Um, as you can see, this top line, that was, that's the catheter in your bladder. This red line is the catheter that's in your vagina. This green line is a subtracted one of those, so I'll be able to look back and see, which I didn't during the procedure see anything unusual. It would tell me if your bladder muscle is contracting when you don't want it to. And that's the blue line on top. Uh, that would or be the, the green, green line. line. Yep. Right. This is bladder, vagina, and this is a subtracted. This line here are those sticky pads down on your bottom. This red line is when you were urinating. It tells me how the flow was going. And then this green line down the bottom tells me the volume that you went. And I can see that you emptied completely. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be able to look at the rest of the pressure re uh, readings uh, after I do a printout after I unhook you. Some of these um, little peaks and valleys, what does that mm -hmm. tell you? What this is telling me is you were bearing down. Mm -hmm. And this spikier one here is a cough. Got you. So bearing downs and coughs. So far looks fine. Yeah. I did notice back uh, earlier on when you did leak, it was at a higher pressure. So up towards the top here. And that tells me that you have stress incontinence. Um, and so I'll be able to pass that on to the physician. And uh, they'll be able to help you out. OK. Any questions? No, nope, not right now. All right. Mm -hmm. So I will get a printout and uh, hand that off to the doctor with my findings uh, while you're getting dressed. Uh, and then um, he'll come in and come up with a game plan. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to have your legs back up in here so I can unhook you.